check, one, two. Was to and welcome to today's broadcast between the USC Pembroke Braves and the Tusculum Pioneers. A great afternoon for football. I'm Dave Nguyen, about to commentate this live sporting event between the Braves and the Pioneers, live from Greenville, Tennessee. It's going to be a great day today. As the USCP Braves come in with a record of three and four, and the Tusculum Pioneers coming in with a record of two and five. Both teams are trying to get rid of a losing streak here as Braves come in, have not won a road game since 2017. They are losers of, unfortunately, 12 straight road games. And the Pioneers this year are winless at home. They have played ranked opponents such as Lenore Ryan and Wingate, and unfortunately have lost those two of those three home games. And one team will come out a winner, one team will come out a loser. Will it be the Pembroke Braves trying to snap a 13-game road streak? Thank you. 
Or will the Pioneers win their first home game of the season? All that and more next on the USCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Tennessee, David Lewin on the call. About seven minutes and 45 seconds left until kickoff. Let's go. This is what we North Carolina, the West Coast University. Plus, I'm going to be in the South Carolina State. We're going to get one of the most successful places. The players that we will highlight today, one will be Bryce Moore, the quarterback for Tusculum, who last week was 12 for 27 with 190 yards and two touchdowns, as well as three interceptions in Tusculum's win over Virginia Wise University. For the Braves, it all starts with Josh Jones, the sophomore quarterback, who is looking for his first road win of his career, as well as the starting quarterback of UNC Pembroke. He'll be complimented to find his running back, Josh Sheridan, who in seven games has 89 rushes for 430 yards, as well as six touchdowns, averaging just about 4.8 yards per carry. Another man we will look forward to is Quay Threat, who has been a spark plug for this receiving core for UNCP. This season, Quay Threat has 25 receptions for 278 yards, averaging 11.12 yards a catch, as well as a touchdown this year. He has been a very good threat for Josh Jones in the receiving core.
just about four minutes until we kick off. We'll play a few commercials. And then when we come back, it'll be UNCP football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. to UNC P football live in Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Tuscaloosa Pioneers. Dave Nguyen on the call as we have the captains out to the field. And it looks like UNC P has won the toss and they have elected to defer to the second half. So we'll see the UNC P defense first to start this game today. Cloudy skies here in Greenville, Tennessee. A great day for football. Temperatures in the low 70s near the Appalachian Mountains. Just a beautiful sight for some football. As the Braves coming in with a record of 3 and 4. And the Pioneers of Tuscaloosa coming in with a record of 2 and 5. So something won't get today. It will either be the first home hit in 2019 for Tuscaloosa, or it will be the Braves' first road win in 13 games. will be wearing their rude uniforms, white uniforms with gold letters and numbers, as well as a black trim, and the Tuscaloosa Pioneers will be in their home blacks, as Hunter Braswell will get things started. Braswell will get things going. Back deep to return. For the Pioneers. 
will be Thurlow Wilkins as well as Maurice Gilmillion. And it's a kick that is booted near the 50 yard line. The UNCP kick return, kickoff team trying to pull some trickery for a potential onside kick and it doesn't go. And away we go here in Greenville, Tennessee. Two seconds into the first quarter. And that is where quarterback Bryce Moore will set up the offense. Moore lines up under center in an eye formation with two receivers to his right. Now he lines up back into the shotgun. Moore motions his fullback from right to left. Gets the snap, hands it off to his running back off the left tackle for a minimum gain. And the UNCP defense swallows up the running back, Jordan Shippey. For no gain, we'll bring up second and ten from midfield here in the first quarter. Just underway here in Greenfield, Tennessee, between the Braves and the Pioneers. Moore will now line up in the shotgun with Moore, with Shippey the lone setback behind him. Trips to his right, he motions Shippey out in motion from the right, back to pass, and the pass is incomplete, almost in the arms of a UNCP defender. Jordan Howard, linebacker, and third down and 10 from midfield for the Pioneers of Tuscaloosa. Head coach Shane Richardson, a defensive-minded head coach, wants his defense out there and hoping for a potential three and out to start this game. 14-17 remains in the first quarter. No score of the opening possession of the game. Moore will line up in the shotgun once more with trips to his right. As a lone receiver on the far side. Three-step drop. Quick pass out to Shippey on the far side. For a 8-9 to nine yard gain, he's close to the marker. Where the referee will line him up just one yard short of the first down. So it'll be a nine yard reception for Jordan Shippey. And it looks like the punting hitter will come out for the Pioneers of Tusculum. Actually, there's this change of personnel. And it looks like Tusculum will go for it. On the fourth and one from the UNCP 41 yard line. Lining up on center is Moore, the quarterback. Kicks a man in motion from right to left. Gets a snap, hands off to Shippey, off right tackle, and he will be stuffed behind the line of scrimmage. A fourth down stop and a turnover on downs. Great job by the UNCP defense. A host of Braves made a stop on Jordan Shippey, and that will be a turnover on downs, and the Braves offense will set up. First and 10 at their own 44-yard line. A three-yard Lost on the play. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Braves offense. Josh Jones lines up in the shotgun with troops to his left. And two receivers to his right. He's got an empty backfield. So a big stop early for the UNCP defense to set the tone. Jones in an empty set. Calling out the signals. Three step drop. Here comes the blitz from Tusculum. He flushes out right and will decide to scramble outside on the far side to his right for about five to six yards and bring up second down and short for Josh Jones in the UNCP offense. Officially a six yard run for Josh Jones and bring up second down and four for the Braves on the Tusculum. 47-yard line. Jones lines up in the shotgun. Sheridan looks that back. Gets the handoff off right tackle. Makes a couple of moves and goes past the first down marker. Past midfield. First and 10 for UNCP on the first carry for Josh Sheridan. First and 10 for the Braves as they get closer around the 45-yard line. Of first and 10 for the Braves and they decided to go no huddle, something that we haven't seen in quite a while from this UNCP offense. Sheridan remains the one setback with Sam Vines the fullback. Hand off to Sheridan up the middle, but it will be a stop by the Pioneer defense. Marcus, or excuse me, Jackson Coffin 
on the tackle, the sophomore linebacker, and it'll bring up second down to 13 after the three yard loss on the county by Sheridan. So the Braves were able to pick up the first first down of this game on a four yard, four to five yard run by Josh Sheridan. Now it'll be a second down and 13 for the Braves at midfield. Sheridan continues to line up in the shotgun with Sam Vines, the fullback to his left, and Sheridan. The running back behind him. Sheridan gets the handoff. It's a flea flicker. Jones under pressure, and he is sacked at the 40-yard line. Jackson Coffin with the sack as UNCP was trying to look trickery on the play, but there is a penalty flag in the secondary. UNCP on second down at 13 from midfield tried a flea flicker. And it did not work. It worked against Morris Hill, but it did not work on that particular play. So there is a defensive holding penalty. So, in fact, the flea flicker, in a way, kind of pays off for the Braves' offense, as there is holding in the secondary of Tuslum. The Braves catch a break, and it'll be first and 10 from the 39 yard line of the Pioneers. Lined up with trips to his left is Josh Jones, the quarterback. Amari Bryce Green, the running back. Jones with a three-step drop, flushed out of the pocket, an incomplete pass to the running back. It's D'Angelo Player Young. It'll be an incomplete pass, second down at 10 from the Pioneers 39-yard line. Braves driving, no score here in the first quarter with 11.51 remaining. Larry Young remains the lone setback to on the right hand of Josh Jones. Lined up in the shotgun. J Young on the carry, off left side, crosses near the 35-yard line for a short game. And they'll bring a third down for a break for the Braves. Lined up on the near hash of the Braves are driving from right to left. Third down and eight after the two-yard run by D'Angelo Blair Young. As Quaid Freeton, side shot Carter, and the two receivers near side, Sean Brown and Josh Sheridan on the far side. Jones, under pre heavy pressure, will only throw this away and it'll bring up fourth down as Tusculum brought the blitz on that play and it turned out well for them. Fourth down and eight for USDP on the Pioneer 37-yard line, and most likely Isaac Parks. And the brave punting unit will come down to the field. Back deep to receive the punt from Isaac Parks is D. a six-foot, 170-pound senior. Parks gets the low snap and boots it. Inside the 10-yard line, but there's a penalty on the play because the UNCP player hit D. Alfred when he called a fair catch. So it would be fair catch interference most likely and a penalty that the Braves cannot afford. Isaac Parks came into this game with 33 punts, averaging 46 yards of punt, 14 inside the 20. It would have been 15, but because of the penalty, it'll bring breathing room for the Pioneers as they start from their own 20-yard line. So it'll be a officially 25-yard penalty on the Braves, so, or a 15-yard penalty on the Braves, and the Pioneers, the Tuscan, will set up first and 10 on their own 25. A penalty that you cannot afford early in the game as you're trying to win your first road game as a program in 13 games. So Bryce Moore will bring up first and 10. After the penalty, penalty it will be first and 10 for the Pioneers on their own 24-yard line. Moore lined up in the shotgun with Shippy, the little setback. 
kicks a man in motion from right to left. Hand off to Shippey, off left tackle. He's got a seam past the 30-yard line near the 35. A big gain. Shippey on first down. It'll be second down and short for the Pioneers. 10.43 running in the first quarter. No score. Live from Greenville, Tennessee on the UNCP Sports Network. A nine-yard run by Jordan Shippey on the play. It'll be second down and one for the Pioneers on their own 33-yard line. Moore will kick two men in motion. And now lines up under center. Gets the handoff to Shippey. This time off right tackle. That's 35 to the 40. Getting across the 45-yard line. Or 40-yard line, excuse me. For a tough one. That'll be a first down and more for the Pioneers as they inch towards midfield. First and ten for the Pioneers with under ten minutes to play in the first quarter. More back to pass. Looking downfield, it's going to air it out. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Now the pass intended for Tory Ponder, the receiver, to bring up second down and ten. Second down and 10 for Moore as he motions two men from left to right. Driving from left to right are the Pioneers. Moore under center. Hand off to Shippy then once more. Bounced off. Right tackle. To the 50, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. You can forget about it. A touchdown for Tuscalo. For the running back, Thurlow Wilkins with his first carry of the game. It results in a 41-yard touchdown, and the Pioneers are on top with 9.30 remaining in the first quarter. That extra point is up and good for the Pioneers. And they lead this one 7 nothing with 9.30 remaining in the first quarter. We'll come back after this short break. You're listening to Brains Football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is... A healer, touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally, working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the pioneers of Tuscaloosa on the UNCP Sports Network. Dave Nguyen on the call, 7 0 Pioneers. And 41 yard touchdown by Thurlow Wilkins. Back deep to receive for UNCP is the dangerous Devin Jones, as well as Marcus McDonald. Here's a pooch kick around the 30 yard line and it'll bounce out of bounds and actually recovered by UNCP. Trey Sawyer, the linebacker on the cover, recovered for the Braves. Inside the 20 yard line is that, and that is where Josh Jones will set up the offense. First and 10, officially spotted at the 23 yard line of UNCP. So the Braves will set up first and 10 on their own 23. Down 7 0. The Braves' first offensive possession was a three and out. Josh Jones will line up in the shack with troops to his right. And D'Angelo Blair Young will line set that. Jones gets the belt high shotgun snap, play action, and fires to Sean Brown at the 40 yard line for a first down. 
the first completion of the day for UNCP. Is good enough for first down. As they move from the 23 to the 39, a 16-yard reception for Brown, and the Braves will continue this drive. Jones in the shotgun. Quick step drop. And looking for Quay 3 across the middle. It goes off his hands, and, that, and that's incomplete. Going to bring a second down and 10 from the 39 to the Braves. And after their first completion of 16 yards to Sean Brown, Pass, as there was not enough pressure by the Tuscaloosa and Pioneer defense on that play because of the quick quick drop and the quick release by Josh Jones at quarterback. Josh Sheridan enters the game at running back, and Sam Vines is in motion from left to right. The Braves driving from right to left on second down and 10 from their own 39. Sheridan on the handoff, off right tackle, makes a couple of men miss, and coming, trying to come back towards the original line of scrimmage. He's tackled for a five yard loss. Going to bring a third down and 15 from the Braves' 35-yard line. So after completing their first first down of the game on a pass, the run after the incomplete pass, Josh Jones, the drop, the Josh Jones five-yard loss brings a third down and officially 14 for the Braves. Something that is a little uncharacteristic for this offense that we have seen so far this year. Third to 14 for the Braves. On the run 35, driving from right to left. Jones in the shotgun with two receivers to his left. There's a penalty on the play. Probably drawn all sides. Free play for UNCP. Looking for Sean Brown downfield. It's an incomplete pass. It looks like there will be pass interference on the play as well. So an offside penalty on the Pioneers as well as a pass interference call. We'll see what Shane Richardson, which penalty he wants to accept. As there is pass interference on Thurlow, excuse me, Ivan Hodges, the linebacker, lining up in the secondary for the Pioneers. We'll wait for the call. So it will be holding on Ivan Hogan, the linebacker, also an all sides penalty, but Shane Richardson will take the defensive holding penalty, and that will be another first down for UNCP, this time via a penalty. So Josh Jones in the offense, trying to keep things going, down 7 nothing with 8-11 remaining in the first quarter. Jones lines up in the shotgun with Sheridan alone set back, vines the fullback off the left hip of Josh Jones. Waist high shotgun snap, Josh Sheridan up the middle for maybe a gain of one, tackled by a host of pioneers to bring a second down and long on the play for USDP. Xavier Clement, the first man on the stop for the Pioneers. Officially ruled a no gain and bring up second down and 10 for the Braves of UNCP. 744 and running. Here in the first quarter, 7 0. Tusco. Jones lines up in the shotgun once more. Takes the handoff on play to McKinley Nelson. Finds a receiver on the near side at midfield. It's his tight end, Jalon Nixon, for a short gain. Gets it to midfield from the 45, a five-yard reception to bring a third down and five for the Braves. McKinley Nelson makes the, the low right back in the game. Jaylon Nixon substituted out. The trips to the right and shotgun for Jones. McKinley Nelson will to step back and three in the slot. Jones, here comes the blitz from Tusculum. Clean pocket so far. And Jones finds a man downfield, and it's a first down. Quay three on the reception at the 42-yard line. Move the chains, and a real first down for UNCP. 
From the 48 of the Braves to the 40, 42, from the 42, from the 48 of the Braves to the 42 yard line of Tuscal. It'll be a first out of 10. Jones this time rolls out of the pocket to his left and finds Quay three by the 40 for another completion. That is three straight completions for Josh Jones on this drive. That'll so bring up second down for UNCP. 6.24 remaining in the first quarter. 7 nothing Tuscal after the 59 yard touchdown run by Thurlow Wilkins. Three with a 10 yard reception and then three for a 3 yard reception. So 13 yards we're speaking so far for Quay 3. Second down and 7 for the Braves on the Pioneer 39 yard line. Play action. There's a pass out to Trey Dixon. Out on the near side near the 30-yard line for a short completion. It will bring a third down and short for UNCP. Malik Goodman on the stop for the Pioneers. It's Trey Dixon, the 6'2 redshirt freshman. A six-yard reception will bring a third down and one in the 33-yard line of the Pioneers. Great continuing to stop at the drive. Sheridan, the lone setback, is there's trips to the right. Sean Brown in motion from right to left. Sheridan gets the handoff up the middle. And it was a quarterback keeper. Fake down everyone in the stadium. The zone read. You realize that Josh Sheridan was going to be tackled in the backfield. So Josh Jones, on a quarterback keeper on the zone read, picks up the first down for UNCP as they continue this drive. A three-yard run by Josh Jones brings the Braves to the 30-yard line of the Pioneers with five minutes remaining in the first quarter. Seven-nothing Pioneers. The, the Braves are driving on their second offensive position of the game. Jones in the shotgun with Sheridan alone setback, vines the fullback. Hand off to Josh Sheridan up the middle, and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. A host of pioneers on that tackle. Second down and 10 after the no gain on the run by Josh Sheridan. Vines, as well as Dalon Nixon, will come out. Tyshawn Carter, the lone receiver on the near side of the 30-yard line. Troops to the right of Josh Jones, the quarterback. Sheridan alone set back off his left hip. Quay 3 and the slot on the far side. Quick drop and a pass out to Quay 3. It is caught near the 25-yard line. A short reception on the play. And a grab third down for the Braves. Ball caught at the 27 yard line. So three yard reception. By the way, three third seven from the 27 for the Braves. Jones in the shotgun, two receivers to his right and left. Shared in the left setback off his right hip. Here come the Pioneer pressure defense. Three-step drop for Jones. Looks for Sheridan on the far side near the 20. Gets a first down and more. 10. Inside the 10-yard line is Josh Sheridan for a big pickup. A 17-yard reception for Josh Sheridan. His second reception of the day. And he keeps the chains moving for the Braves. 320 remaining in the first quarter. UNCP driving and striking distance in the red zone. Still down to 7 up there. First and 10 for the Braves officially at the 11-yard line. Not only can... The Braves score a touchdown, but they can also get a first down in this sequence as well. Josh Jones this time will line up under center with two receivers to his left. Vines and Sheridan, the lone setbacks. Hand off to Sheridan up the middle, he'll bounce off left tackle. And it will be a short gain on the play. Maybe the gain of one for, for Josh Sheridan. It'll bring up second down. It'll be a gain of two for Josh Sheridan on the play. It'll be second down and eight for the Braves at the Pioneer nine yard line. A hockey shuffle of substitution for Braves at the wide receiver position. As well as at the running back. D'Angelo Blair Young will check into the game. As there's two receivers to the left of 
Josh Jones at the shotgun. Lining up the 12 personnel. Jones fires towards the end zone. It is a reception that is caught and a touchdown for UNCP. Tyshawn Carter caught the swing pass out on the near side. And it will be caught for a UNCP touchdown. That'll be Carter's first touchdown of the second touchdown of the season. Gets the Braves on the board. Hunter Broswell for the extra point. The snapper will be Ray Sean Griffin. The holder, Isaac Parks, the punter. Braswell, the freshman kicker. Low snap, but the kick is up and hits the left crossbar. It is no good. So the Pioneers of Tusculum are leading this one 7 to 6 with two minutes remaining in the first quarter. We'll come back after this commercial break. You're listening to Pembroke Football on the Braves Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Tuscaloosa Pioneers, where the Braves get on the board on a nine yard touchdown pass from Josh Jones to Tyshawn Carter for his second or his fourth touchdown of the season. Back deep to receive for the Pioneers as Hunter Braswell on his extra point hit the left crossbar or left upright and remained 7-6, the lead in favor of Tuscaloosa. Hunter Braswell will keep to kick things off. And it looks like Trey Dixon will hold the ball as there's a bit of wind out there on the field. Back deep will be Thurlow Wilkins and Maurice Goodwin. Ball was booted and caught at the 35-yard line near the 40. And will be caught by number 15, Connor Johnston. And that is where the Pioneers have set up first and 10 from the round 35. Two minutes remaining here in the first quarter. 7-6 Pioneers. Both teams have scored a touchdown. A 59-yard touchdown reception by Thurlow Wilkins on the second offensive drive of the game for Tuscaloosa. And then the Braves were able to respond with a 9-yard touchdown pass. From Jeff Jones to Tashawn Carter. Lining up in the shotgun is Bryce Moore. Fakes the handoff and now hands it off to his running back Thurlow Wilkins. And he's tackled for a loss. Tackled at the backfield by Ben Jeremiah. It'll bring up second down and ten after the no gain on the play. 
Second and 10 for the Pioneers at their own 42 with a minute 34 and running in the first quarter. Seven and six. Tussle them over UNCB. Lining up under center with two receivers to his left is Bryce Moore, the redshirt freshman. Now he backs up in the shotgun with Thurlow Wilkins, the long setback. Three step drop, under pressure, firing and hitting a man in stride is Bryce Moore. Finds his receiver to Desmond Arthur. It'll get a short reception on the play. It'll bring up third down. Pass caught from the 42 to the 45. It'll be a three yard reception for Arthur. Third down and seven for the Pioneers on their own 45. A defense that has not allowed a lot of big plays, allowed a 59 yard touchdown earlier in the first quarter. Let's see if the Braves bring, bring pressure on a blitz. Jordan Shippey, the running back, checks back into the game. Back to pass. Airing it out, and an incomplete pass from Bryce Moore. Trying to find his receiver, senior A.J. Belanger, on the far sideline near the 35. He had a step or two on the cornerback covering him out there, and Devin Jones. Instead, it'll be a fourth down and seven with 26 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Devin Jones will be back to receive this punt. A dangerous return man in Devin Jones. Who had a 100 yard kick return touchdown last week against Wingate. Back to punt will be Andrew Cantrell. It is a high end over over end kick. Here's Devin Jones on the near side to the 30, near the 35, and wrestled out of bounds at the 33 yard line. A 13 yard punt return for Devin Jones from the 20 to the 33, and with 17 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Josh Jones will bring out the Braves' offense down 7-6. McKinley Nelson checks into the game at running back, as well as we need to get at the tight end. Trey Dixon and Quay Threet line up on the far side as two receivers. And lining up on the near side is Shaman Hicks. Hand off to McKinley Nelson, off left tackle for no gain on the play, and a ring of second down and ten with seven seconds remaining in the first quarter. Tackle, and that'll do it for the first quarter of play. Seven to six, the score in favor of the home team. Pioneers lead the Braves. We'll come back after this with the Braves continuing to drive this time from left to right after these commercial breaks. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. Don't just throw a tailgate. Own the tailgate with a Bojangles Big Bow Box. Only Bojangles brings the flavor to every tailgate with mouth-watering chicken, fresh buttery biscuits, flavorful fixins, and freshly steeped legendary iced tea. Because how can you expect to win the game if you don't win the tailgate? Feed all the hungry tailgaters in your group with an 8, 12, or 20-piece Big Bow Box. Bojangles, it's bow time, y'all. Welcome back to the Bridge Sports Network. Dave Nguyen on the call as we have some football action today here in Greenville, Tennessee. The Braves are down by one point to the Pioneers in Tuscaloosa by a score of 7 6. Both teams have a touchdown, but Hunter Braswell was unable to make his first extra point as he missed it as the ball hit the left upright of the goalpost. On the previous play before the end of the first quarter, there's a first down run. 
and had the new game. So it's second down and 10. The Braves on their own third three if we begin the second quarter of play. Lining up in the shotgun is Josh Jones. Jones. With D'Angelo Blair Young, the lone setback. Two receivers to his left. Jones, quick step drop, finds Quay three at the 40. For an eight-yard reception. It'll bring up a third down and short for UNCP. An eight-yard reception getting to the 41-yard line officially. It'll be third down and two for the Ravens. 14-35 and running here in the first half. 7-6 the score in favor of Tuscaloosa. A big third down right here for UNCP as they try to retake the lead. Jones will line up in the shotgun with two receivers to his right, one to his left. Shared in the lone step back, gets the hand off, off left tackle, and he is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Another third down stop for the Pioneer defense, and they're going to potentially force the Braves to punt. Josh Jones lined up on the far sideline, waiting for his signal, and now the so a golden opportunity for the Braves. They just couldn't capitalize on third and short. Braves so far in this game are three for four on third day. They could not convert it there, and it holds the drive. Braswell back to punt. Back to receive the punt. It's Alfred. And Brazel will punt this ball into the end zone for a touchback. Another touchback for Isaac Parks. Who averages 46.7 yards per punt. A two-time All-American. And one of the valuable men on special teams for this Braves team. So coming back on offense will be Bryce Warren, the quarterback who had three interceptions last week and also three touchdowns. Two in the air and one on the ground. He lines up under center with Jordan Shippey, the lone setback. Here's the handoff to Shippey, off right tackle, past the 20 to the 25-yard line. A nice run on the play. A five-yard run on the play, to be exact. It'll be second down and five. Shippey, a senior... There's seven games this season, averaging 4.2 yards a carry. Officially a game of six, second down of four for the Pioneers on the round 26. 13 minutes remaining in the second quarter. 7-6, Pioneers the score. Moore lines up in the shotgun. Quick step drop and fires an incomplete pass. His tight end. Carter Mangle was wide open but couldn't put the ball into his hands or catch the ball into his hands. He's going to bring a third down and four for Tuscaloosa on their own 26. 12.49 remaining in the second quarter. 7-6. Pioneers over the Braves. So another key third down stop for UNCP. So far, the Pioneers are over two on third down. Moore lines up in the shotgun once more. With Shippey the long setback. Three step drop. Pocket collapses. Flushing out of the pocket is more, and he'll just have to throw this one. An incomplete pass. Pass deflected by Jordan Howard, the linebacker, once more. And that'll force the Pioneers to punt. The dangerous Devin Jones will line up at midfield. And Andrew Cantrell will be back to punt for the Pioneers. Another three and out for the Pioneers offense. Great job by the Braves so far in this game today. They play that up. They allow the team to touch down. A 59 yard run by Fredo Wilkins back in the first quarter. That is how we have a 7 6 lead. Oh, punt is blocked. Scooping and scoring is the Braves. Another special teams touchdown. Edward Prince with the punt block and returns it into the end zone. Another special teams touchdown for the Braves. And they take the lead. Eric Price coming up big for the Braves on the special teams touchdown. 12 7 UNCP, and they will go for two. The second 
punt block for a touchdown in as many as two games. The first one happened last week at Winkin. Jones will line up in the shotgun with Josh Sheridan and the lone setback. Two receivers to his right. And that will be apparently be a, a, most likely a full start on UNCP. And it looks like the big tight end and Fahim Diaz left a little bit early. So the Braves now have a touchdown on offense and a touchdown on special teams in this game. But a costly penalty right there for UNCP. They originally set up at the three yard line. Now they will be setting up at the eight yard line for a two point conversion. And now head coach Shane Richardson will bring on the field goal unit. Braswell, who is 0 for 1 today in extra point opportunity, he missed his first extra point of the season. Lost by the kick is away and through the uprights and good. 13 7 Braves after the punt block for a touchdown by Eric Price. We'll go to a quick commercial break. 13 7 Braves are the pioneers. You're listening to the Braves football on the CP Sports Network. Mm mm. Oh, jangle, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? The Mento Cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. Welcome back to the UNCP Sports Network, Braves Football, on the audio stream, Dan Nguyen on the call. 12.33 remain in the second quarter, and the Braves are on top 13-7 after the punt return touchdown, punt block return touchdown by Eric Price. Braswell is successful on his extra point. It's 13 to 7 UNCP. He has an end over end kick received at the 30 yard line and tripping up at the 35 yard line. It is Davis Williams. It's first and 10 for Bryce Moore in the offense. This time down by a score of 13 to 7. Looking to try to answer on the special teams touchdown by the Braves. The redshirt freshman will line up in the shotgun with two running backs, one on his right hip and one behind him, also with a receiver on each side. Third little bookends, the home run hitter on the carry, off right tackle to the 35, getting towards the 40-yard line. A nice gain on the play. From the 34 to the 39 will be a gain of five. It'll be second down and five for the Pioneers. With 12 minutes remaining in the second quarter. 13 to 7, Braves on top. Live from Greenville, Tennessee. Moore will line up in the shotgun from the zone 39. Takes two men in motion with Wilkins, the lone setback, the man who scored the 59 yard touchdown for the Pioneers. Now he lines up under center, handles the Wilkins off left tackle. With a burst of speed, he gets across the 40 near the 45. He is close to a first down marker, to the first down marker. And it looks like the referees will spot him just short. It will be third down and short for the Pioneers. Racements are from the 39 to the 43. And a short game of the play will be third down and one. Another big third down for both teams. A four-yard run officially by Wilkins. Lining up under center is Bryce Moore. UNCP showing blitz. Moore bobbles the snap and moves forward, and he gets the first down and more. 
So on a play that looked to be in UNC P's favor, the quarterback Bryce Moore fumbled the snap, picked it up, and ran it up the middle for a short game, but it's good enough for a first down for the Pioneers. 10-49 and running in the second quarter, 13-7 for ratings over the Pioneers. Officially a four-year A short gain on the play, first down and 10 for Bryce Moore. And the Pioneer offense, he lines up in the shotgun with two receivers to his right and left. Dropping back to pass, pocket collapses, rolls to his left, and he finds a man in midfield. It'll be Tory Ponder on the reception, or a two-yard reception. It'll bring up second down and eight for the Pioneers. Tackle made by Michael Clark starting at quarterback today. Clark and quarterback starting for the redshirt senior Sean Everett. Luke Wilkins, Sean Hill, and Devin Jones. The defensive backfield for UNCP. Cam Calder and Cam Lowry and Amari Bryce Green, the linebackers for the Braves. Second down and seven for the Pioneers. Lining up in the shotgun is Bryce Moore. With Thurlow Wilkins in the backfield. Quick drop, pocket collapses, and Bryce Moore forced to run off left tackle. Gets down near the 45-yard line of the Braves. That'll bring up third down and short. Officially spotted at the 44. A five-yard run on the play. So it'll be third down and two for the Pioneers on the Braves 44. 9-13 and running in the second quarter, 13-7. Even CP the score. Lining up on our center this time is Bryce Moore, who converted the first third down of the day for the Pioneers earlier in this drive. Hand off to Thurlow Wilkins up the middle. It's a four-yard gain towards the 40. He needed two, and it'll move the chains for the Pioneers. Four-yard run by Thurlow Wilkins, and we are wondering where Jordan Shippey is, the Pioneer senior running back. There is an injury timeout on the field. We'll step aside as well. 13 to 7, Braves over the Pioneers in the second quarter. 850 remaining, and you're listening to Braves football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn, an ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors, a blower of bubbles. Part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Pioneers of Tuscaloosa. The Braves lead the Pioneers by a score of 13 to 7, 12 with 851 remaining here in the second quarter. After both teams traded turnovers on downs and their first offensive possessions, the Pioneers struck first on a 59-yard touchdown run by Thurlow Wilkins. With 
Braves responded with a touchdown drive of their own. With high shot Carter on a hookup with Josh Jones, a nine-yard touchdown pass and catch. Hunter Braswell missed, missed the extra point, and Tuscaloosa led 7-6. The Braves would then force the Pioneers to punt. That is when Eric Press blocked the punt and was able to scoop and score for the second punt block touchdown of the season for UNCP. First and ten for the Pioneers after the injury timeout. Wilkins remains the lone setback. He's got a receiver on the near side in the 40. Back to pass is Moore. Pocket collapses, so he'll be forced to run. And we'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. A tackle made by the UNCP defense, made by Dominique Davis. No gain on the run. As more pocket collapse, this had to run and ran back to the original line of scrimmage. Officially marked a one yard loss, will be second down and 11. Tackle for loss made by the Braves defense. A 15 remaining in the second quarter, 13 7 Braves over the Pioneers. More, the quarterback, lines up in the shotgun in the pistol gun formation. Moore hands off to Wilkins off right tackle, bouncing off right end, and will be stopped for no gain. Braves defense containing on that far side. Michael Clark on the stop, and it'll be third down and 11, officially no gain on the play for Wilkins. Third and 11 for Tusculum on the on their own 42-yard line. Or on the Braves' 14 yard line. 7.35 and running here in the first half. 13 seconds. You would see Moore lines up in the shotgun. With Maurice Gomilly in the lone setback. Delay the game on the play. And it'll bring up third down, and this time it's 16 on the play. So a five yard penalty on the delay game by the Pioneers offense. Third and 16 from their own 47. Moore, the quarterback, will line up in the shotgun with Maurice Gomillion, the lone setback off his right. Trips to his left. Three step drop. Heavy pressure. Rolling out to his left, a quick shovel pass out to a receiver for a short gain on the play. Tory Ponder on the reception and a late flag fly. There's a scuffle at midfield. If it's a penalty on the break, even if you can't afford that unsportsmanlike penalty, because you're able to stop the Pioneer offense again in this game, you can't afford to give them free, free yards on penalties and automatic first down. Let's see what the call is. From the head referee, Jamie Rose. So, unsportsmanlike penalties on both teams, and the penalties will, penalties will offset, and will bring up fourth down. Braves defense doing well today, only allowing two third down conversions so far in this game. Devin Jones back to receive this punt from Andrew Cantrell. Here's a high punt, very, very shallow at the 40-yard line, and great field position for UNCP as the ball officially bounces at the out at the Braves' 35-yard line. So with 6.46 remaining in the first half and a 13-7 lead, Josh Jones will come back out for the Braves offense, looking to add to their lead, and more importantly, looking to add their 
They went to have their first road win in 13 games. Jones will line up with a shotgun with Angelo Blair Young, the lone setback. Jones hands the ball off to Young. Now play action. Airing it out downfield. Tyshawn Carter is there, and he cannot make the catch. A home run ball as Tyshawn Carter lined up on the far side, crossing route to the near, an incomplete pass. Jones had to release the head because he was under some heavy pressure and to bring up second down and 10 from the 35-yard line of the Braves. Now Jones will line up in the shotgun with an empty set and trips to his left, two to his right. Jones, three-step drop, clean pocket, collapses now, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his left. And he will just decide to run with this one, trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage. As the pressure on an outside containment by the Pioneers defense was there, it will bring up third down and ten after the no game. On the run by Josh Jones. Clock continues to run with 6.25 and running in the first half. 13 to 7, Braves are the Pioneers. Live from Greenville, Tennessee. Third down and nine for the Braves. Quick screen pass and it's intercepted. 10 5 touchdown, Pioneers. A pick six by Josh Jones, and it is scored. Interception by Luis Mars, or Jackson Cawthon, excuse me, the linebacker. And we are now at 13 with an extra point up and coming. Ball spotted, kick is away, and the kick is good. Extra point is made by Eli Shepard, and the Pioneers retake the lead 14 to 13 after the pick six by Jack Coffin. Let's step aside after this commercial break. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. Mm-hmm. Jangles, Cajun Filet Biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee. Pitch six by Jack Coffin. Off of Josh Jones gives the Pioneers a 14-13 over the Braves with six minutes left in the first half. Ball is a high kick. But fielded fairly at the 23 yard line. Kicked by Allen and Juski. The Braves will set up shop at their own 25 yard line, first and 10. Down this time by one point. They had the lead 13 to 7, but the pick six by Josh Jones. His fifth interception on the road this year. This season on the road, heading into this game, Josh Jones was 54 of 103 passes for 456 yards. Jones this time will hand the ball off left tackle for a short gain on the play. 
Try to get back to the original line of scrimmage. This is Jerry Roberts for his first action of the game. Second down and 10 for the Braves on the round 25. Officially a one yard run. Second down and nine for the Braves on the round 26. Trips to the right. And entering the game now is Sheridan, the lone setback. Jones back to pass, ball tipped in the air and somehow caught by Quay Three. It was off the fingertips of Sean Brown, and there were two pioneer defenders in the area. It was caught into the arms of Quay Three on a miraculous play, and it will bring up third down and four for the Braves after the five-yard reception. Third down for UNCP, third and five from the round 30. Jones lines up with the shotgun with two receivers to his left. Back to pass. Heavy pressure by the Pioneers. And he will be tackled a sack in the backfield as Josh Jones goes down at his own 20. The Pioneer defense comes up big and the Braves will be forced to punt. A six-yard sack on the play. That was made by Logan Calvert on the punt defense. Hunter Braswell back to punt and back to receive. The punt will be Dean Alfred for the punters. A high punt around the bouncing around the 35-yard line to the 30, and will eventually roll to the 26-yard line. A high booming punt by Hunter Braswell, or by Isaac Parks, excuse me. So with 347 remaining in the first half, the Pioneers with the 14-13 lead will have the ball. Bryce Moore will bring the offense back onto the field. And Jordan Shippey seems to be all right as he enters the game now. Get off to Shippey, off left tackle, bouncing into the middle of the field to the 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And tackled at the 45-yard line of the Braves is Jordan Shippey for his best run of the game. From the 26, his own 26. To the 40 of the Braves. A, a huge game on the play for Jordan Chip. Chippy remains in the game. And the shotgun is burst more with two receivers to his left. Hand off to Chippy up the middle. And he breaks through the Braves defense for a first down and more. Tackled at the 36-yard line. A 10-yard run on the play for Jordan Shippey after he broke a 28-yard run. So it'll be first and 10 for the Pioneers with 250 remaining in the first half. Moore, the quarterback, lines up under center. Makes an audible at the line of scrimmage. Shippy of the lone setback. Hand off to Shippy off right tackle, and he's tackled at the line of scrimmage. 2.25 remain, and there's a timeout called on the field. Graham, second down and 10 for the Pioneers, and Shippy will take a break and go back to his sideline. There's a brief timeout for substitutions. So with 2.15 remaining in the first half, a 14-13 for the Pioneers, driving from right to left. Moore lines up in the shotgun. Thurlow Wilkins now, the home run hitter, as the running back. Play action. Scrambling and a tackle for a sack. 
A big sack on the play by UNCP. By Jordan Howard, who's come up big today for the UNCP defense. Sat near his own 40-yard line. Near the 40-yard line, excuse me. Now if we sat at the 37-yard line, they lost. So it'll be 14 for the Pioneers. Lining up in the shotgun with Trips to his left is Bryce Moore. And he now has Maurice Joe Million as the lone setback. Dropping back to pass, pocket collapses. Moore airs it out downfield, and his pass is incomplete. Intended for Tory Ponder on the play on the far sideline. And to bring a fourth down and 14 for the Pioneers. So Jordan Shippey, after a couple of big runs on this drive, was substituted out, and the Pioneers now are forced to punt. So with 114 left in the first half, Cantrell will be punting this one. It is booted towards the five-yard line, and events will be rolling into the end zone for a touchback. So the Braves will have a chance to try 85, 75 yards downfield to try to put some points on the board. They're down by a score of 14 to 13 in the first half, with 110 remaining. Let's see if Josh Jones can put together a drive to set up the Braves in field goal range. Jones will run the one-minute offense with Josh Sheridan, the lone step back. Two receivers to his right and left. Jones, three-step drop, finds a man downfield towards the 30. Ball is fumbled and recovered by the Pioneers. That is not what you wanted to do with a man left in the first half. You just got the ball right back, and now you give it right back to the team. So another turnover by the Braves offense. First a pick six that gave the Pioneers a 14-13 lead, and now a fumble on the play recovered by the Pioneers. Costly fumble. By UNCP. So with a minute left on his own 25, driving from right to left will be Bryce Moore in the Pioneers. Moore hands the ball off to Shippy on the left on the far side, and he'll be tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Running off right tackle was Jordan Shippy, and it'll bring up second down and 10 after officially no gain on the play by Shippy. It'll be a timeout called by UNCP as they will try to regroup together. Officially marked a one yard loss by Jordan Shippey, so it's second down and 11 Pioneers on the Braves' 26 yard line. 52 seconds remaining. And if you're just joining us, we have seen a little bit of everything today. We have seen a special teams touchdown and an offensive, an offensive touchdown and a defensive touchdown. The special teams touchdown by UNCP, as Eric Price blocked a punt by Cantrell and skipped and scored into the end zone to get the Braves at the time a 13-7 lead. We have seen offensive touchdowns from both teams. As UNCP had a touchdown pass from Josh Jones to Tyshawn Carter. And then a pick six was thrown by Josh Jones. And that is how we have a 14 to 13 lead. Connor Braswell also missed an extra point, which has turned out to be costly and a difference in this ball game right now. So after the timeout by the Braves, Bryce Moore will line up in the shotgun. Second down and 11 from his own from the Braves 26 yard line. 52 seconds remain in the half. Moore in the shotgun airs it out towards the end zone, and that pass is incomplete. Great coverage by. Devin Jones on the play, intended for the receiver, Tory Ponder, on the near sideline. It'll be third down and 11 for the Pioneers. And if the Braves were somehow coming to the stop here, that would be huge, considering they caught up the football on the run 25-yard line after forcing the Pioneers to punt in the previous drive. 47 seconds remaining in the first half. 14-13 Pioneers over the Braves. 
Man from Greenville, Tennessee. And the shotgun is Bryce Moore with an empty backfield. Trips to his right on the far side. Two to his left on the near. And this is a whistle blown dead. And it looks like there's a timeout call. Also a scuffle at midfield between both teams. The second time this has happened today. Got to give effort to credit to both teams showing effort that they really want to win. Both teams really want to win this game today. Two streaks are on the line. It's either the Braves try to break up their 13-game road losing streak, or the Pioneers of Tusculum try to break their three-game home losing streak of the season in 2019. 47 seconds remaining in the first half. 14-13. UNC or 14-13 Pioneers over the Braves. We look at the yardage. It is in favor of Tuscaloosa, 158 to 99. 90 of the 99 passing yards by the Braves have been. Of the total yards by the Braves have been through the air. Nine rushing yards. Josh Jones 11 for six for 90 yards with a touchdown pass as well as an interception. After a timeout called on the field by UNC Katie, it brings up third down and 11 for the Pioneers. Devin Jones, great on that last play with great one on one coverage on Tory Ponder. Lining up with an empty set is Bryce Moore. Jordan Shippey, the lone receiver. On the near side, back to pass, flushed out of the pocket is Moore. He's just going to run with it and running out of bounds, not getting to the first down marker. A good run on the play, about a nine-yard run on the play by Bryce Moore. It will put Tusculum in field goal range, and that is what they decide to do. And is Jared Odom breaks out of his field goal unit for the Pioneers already with a 14-13 lead. Let's see if the Braves defense can come up big again with a block. They have blocked an extra point this year. They have not blocked a field goal this year. So lining up for the field goal. Eli Schiffer. Ball spotted kick is up, and it is good. <laughs> with 35 seconds remaining. A 35-yard field goal is good for the Pioneers. 17-13 to score here in the first half. 35 seconds remain. So as far as the points off turnover margin, it is 3-0. The pick six doesn't turn to be too costly by it. Where the fumble by the Braves offense doesn't prove to be too costly so far. The Braves will receive this ball with 35 seconds remaining, and they also start the game in the second half receiving the football. So if anything, if you're looking for the Braves, it might be a run or a knee at this point, and then they'll go into the locker room down four. Got to be careful here. As there have been a few one-side kicks or pooch kicks in the kickoff game so far for both teams today. Allen and Drewski will be lining up for kicking this ball off for the Pioneers. We have a 17-13 lead with 35 seconds remaining in the first half. Back deep is Devin Jones. Ball is kicked away. A high end over end kick. Received by Jones in his own 15. Running down the far sideline to the 30. To the 35. And tackled as he moves backwards a bit towards the 30-yard line. And with 27 seconds remaining, the Braves offense will trap back onto the field. And let's see if head coach Shane Richardson will decide to dial up a play. Or will they simply be conservative and take it before they get all the group? First and two 
the Braves on their own 32 yard line with 27 seconds remaining in the first half. Jones will line up in the shotgun. Play action. Now there's a handoff to Josh Sheridan. Off left tackle. Across the 40. And that's where he'll get to. An 8 yard run on the play. A timeout for the Braves. As the run run by D'Angelo Blair Young. My apologies. And a timeout for the Braves. An 8 yard run for Blair Young. It'll bring up second down and two. From the 40 yard line of the Braves, with 15 seconds remaining in the first. And most likely a run to the pass. If you're a UNCP, most likely want to step in an empty backfield set and try to hit, have a home run hitter getting either near field goal range or towards the end zone. You've got 17 to 13, 17 seconds remaining in the first half. You either want to end this short drive with some points on the board. Actually, that's probably the only reason why you want to end, how you want to end this drive. The least you can do is go into halftime down four with receiving the football to start the second half. Head coach Shane Richardson electing to keep his offense trying to drive down the field. With 17 seconds left on their own 41-yard line, Josh Jones will line up in the shotgun. Three-step drop. Packet collapses, and it's a catch made at the... At midfield by Quay Threet, with 11 seconds remaining as the Braves call their third and final timeout. So from the 41 to officially the 48-yard line of the Pioneers. And to bring up another first down for the Braves, and so with 11 seconds remaining, here is most likely their shot towards the end zone. Josh Jones has a really good arm, has shown his ability to toss it long this season. He's hit Marcus McDonald on a few flea flickers earlier this season, including the one on homecoming for 65 yards. So most likely here will be an empty set. Instead, it will be a long setback as Diaz will line up in the backfield. Trips to the right, Marcus McDonald, the closest receiver to the near side. Tyshawn Carter, the lone receiver on the far side. Quay three in the slot, and Sean Brown lines up closest to the top end on the right hand side. Driving from left to right, Jones back to pass. Airs it out, looking for Marcus McDonald, and that pass is incomplete. Down on the near sideline, near the 20-yard line. But six seconds remain, and the Braves will have another opportunity to throw the ball downfield. Cloudy skies here in Greenville, Tennessee. And here is most likely the last play of the night for the Braves. Game that has had an offensive, a defensive, and a special teams touchdown. So far, an interesting first half. Brace down by a score of 17 to 13 after the field goal by the Pioneers. Jones with five seconds remaining, three step drop, airs it out towards the end zone, has a man downfield, and it is incomplete. Sean Brown, the lone receiver, down on the far sideline, and that will be the end of the first half. Your score, 17-13 Pioneers over the Braves. We'll come back with some second half or first half recaps and the start of the second half. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. 
A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. <laughs> Hey, I've tried forwarding around I can't seem to figure out why I'm still having an echo on the broadcast. I have like levels that are even and everything, but I 
I don't know why. And I've even had the crowd light turned down, but I just don't understand why I'm hearing an echo. I mean, it sounds okay, but it's not like you sounded when you were at Carson Newman, if that makes sense. Um, another one. So another USB. Um, I do not. I think it's think that what what do you have for another day? Yes. Try that. That won't interrupt the stream, will it? No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't interrupt the stream. Okay. Okay. All right, and then I should just try it out from there. Okay. I mean, I, I tried testing it out. I, I don't have levels too high or anything like that. Do you think it's... It, it, it may be the cord, I don't know. Maybe because I bought a Walmart brand cord and then Todd ordered one that was maybe much better. I don't know. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, we're down by four. Josh threw a pick six. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. How was a cross country? Did Josh win? Awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. I'll see you later. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check, check, one, two. Check, one, two. Check, check, check. Check, 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 one, two.
check. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check, check, check. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two, check, check. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check one, two. Check, 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 check. Check one two check check one two check 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 one two check check one two
Also, the fact that it goes that long and it doesn't talk about that it's in North Carolina, the city is pretty clear outside of one area that's been cut from the right to the left. And welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to the start of the second half between the UNCP Braves and the Pioneers of Tuscan. 17-13 the score at halftime as we begin the start of the second half. Dave Nguyen on the call. The Braves will receive the second half this, to start the second half. Down by a score of 17 to 13. They were down 14 13 after the pick six that was thrown by Josh Jones. A 31 yard pick six by Jackson Colton. And then a fumble by the Braves with a minute left allowed the Pioneers to kick a field goal. And that is where we stand. Tyshawn Carter with the lone touchdown reception on offense by UNC. By UNC. As the kick is booted at the 30-yard line, it's a live ball, and it is caught by the Braves. And the kick by Alec Majewski was booted high near the 30-yard line. And luckily, the Braves were able to receive, return this and receive it. The Braves on that set of shot, first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Josh Jones. And the shotgun. With D'Angelo Blair Young, or Sam Vines, excuse me, the lone setback. Jones gets the handoff to Vines, and he gets tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. Not the right way you would hear the Braves. You want to start off offensively to begin the second half. Devin Woodson on the tackle. And officially a four yard loss for Sam Vine to break up second down and 14 for the Braves. Jones lines up in the shotgun with trips to his right and Sean Brown, the lone receiver on the near side. Driving from right to left are the Braves. By their own 28. Josh Jones needs to hurry up as there is no time left on the play clock and there will be a delay in game called on the Braves. So a four yard loss followed by a delay of game penalty will bring up second down and 19 for the Braves from their own 23. Not the way you want to start off the second half if you're going to see a pity. Vines remains the long step back in the shotgun. Off the left hand of Josh Jones. Three step drop. Here comes the pressure by the Pioneer defense. Jones takes off the run. To the 30, to the 35 yard line, close to the 40. Pass the original line of scrimmage and more. And it'll set up a third down and manageable for the Braves. So good defensive pressure by the defensive line by the Pioneers. 
and open up a hole up the middle for Josh Jones to run. And I bring up a third down and five from the Braves' 37-yard line. So a nine-yard run by UNCP. Jones lines up in the shotgun and penalty flags fly. It's either an offside or a false start. Off it will be a false start on the Braves offense. So that will bring a third and ten back to the original line of scrimmage at their own 32-yard line. So the Braves went backwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. That's a third and ten from the original line of scrimmage on their own 32, driving from right to left. Jones in the shotgun, hands the ball off to Vines or D'Angelo Blair Young to the 40, and he is close to a first down. It will be a couple yards short, and it will bring a fourth down and short for the Braves. And it looks like the punting unit is coming onto the field. So the Braves received the opening drive to start the second half, and it doesn't pay off the points. A good three defensive start. For the Pioneer defense. Isaac Parks back to punt and back to receive for the Pioneers is D. Alford. Punted by the 15 yard line. Alford with some running room will be tackled at the 20 after a short return. And that's where the Pioneers will set up shop first and 10 on their opening drive of the second half. 12.09 remaining in the third quarter, 17-13 Pioneers. Bryce Moore takes the offense back out of the field with Jordan Chippy, the lone setback. Chippy, 964 yards in the first half, gets the handoff off left tackle. Try to bounce around the left end, for a, but a host of Braves are there. And either back to the original line of scrimmage or a loss of one is Jordan Chippy. It'll bring up second down for the Pioneers. Under 12 minutes to play here in the third quarter. 17-13 Pioneers of Tuscaloosa, Live from Greenville, Tennessee. And officially marked a one-yard gain on the play by Chippy. Second down and nine for the Pioneers as they drive from left to right on their own 21 yard line. Moore lines up in the shotgun with two receivers to his right and left, and Shippy the lone setback gets the handoff off left tackle, cuts up the middle to the 30, to the 35, breaks a couple men and a couple more tackles 40, 30, 25, 20, and barrel of it and tackle down at the 20 yard line. On a 40-yard run by Jordan Shippey. He has gashed this Pembroke defense once in the first half and now once in the second half. First and 10 for the Pioneers. After they officially marked a 59 yard run by Jordan Chippy. He takes a breather. Thurlow Wilkins, the lone setback. Handoff on the end around. Penalty flag flyer. Breaking up a couple tackles and getting their first down yardage is Tory Ponder on the end around. But we'll see after this penalty. So, after the quick and huge home run run by Jordan Shippey. The pioneers of Tusculum call the end around. And it seems to be working near another first down as they're inside the red zone and in Braves territory. But we'll see after the penalty. It'll be a false start on the offense. Mm -hmm. 
and it will remain first down. Ten yard penalty on play. So first down and twenty for Tusculum on the Braves thirty yard line driving from left to right. Moore lines up in the shotgun. And two receivers or a receiver to his left and right as they line up in twelve personnel with two tight ends. Now the two tight ends split up. Moore hands the ball off to Wilkins. Off right tackle, but he's tackled for a short game. On second down, a three-yard gain will bring up second down and 17 for the Pioneers at the Braves, 27-yard line. Substitution is made as Wilkins trots out and in good shipping. Moore, the redshirt freshman, lining up. Under center. Shipping the long setback five yards behind him. Three step drop from Moore. Airing it out towards the end zone. And an incomplete pass. Right there was AJ Belanger for a potential basket catch on the far corner and the far side of the end zone. And the pass went right through his arms. Third down and 18. For the Braves 28 yard line is where the Pioneers are set up after an almost touchdown opportunity. And a lucky break for Michael Clark out there on the far side of the quarterback on an island. Third and 18 from the 28 of the Braves where the, the Pioneers set up. Moore lines up in the shotgun with Go Million, the long setback. Flush out of the pocket, Moore will run to the 20, to the 10, and near the first down marker. It'll be Bryce Moore. He will be short of the line of game, about three yards short of the first down. But the Pioneers are in field goal range. There is also a penalty on the play. We'll wait for the call. Penalty on the Pioneers will push them back. So it's third and 28 from the Braves 38. And the shotgun is Brace Moore. Dropping back to pass, three step drop, pocket collapses. Rolls to his right under pressure by Dominique Davis, and he decides to run out of bounds to the Braves 30 yard line. They'll bring up fourth down and long for the Pioneers. Good job by the Braves defense. And let's see whether the punting or the field goal unit will come on out for the Pioneers. And it looks like Eli Shepard and the field unit will come out. Kick is up, and the kick is good. The 47 yard field goal extends the Pioneer lead to seven. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far.
to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Tusculum Pioneers. Dave Lynn on the call as the Braves of UNCG are down 7, 20 to 13. Braves' first offensive drive ended in a 3 and out. This drive by Tusculum resulted in a field goal and they extend their lead to 7. Devin Jones back to receive the punt. And the kickoff by Alan Andrewski. It is a poot kick by Devin Jones at his own 20. To the 25, cut up field. And Devin Jones will be down near the 30 yard line as a penalty flag flies. So it'll be a block in the back by the Braves. And the return was going to be starting at the 35 yard line. It said it'll start at the 19. So Josh Jones will line up in the shotgun down seven, driving from right to left for the Braves. Rolls out to his left, throws across his body, and finds his man on the near side. That's Quay three once more for a seven-yard reception. Actually, it's a ten-yard reception, and it'll be good enough for Grace first down. Quay three. One of the lead receivers for the Grace at that time. It's seven catches for 51 yards. The lone great receiver with more than two catches. D'Angelo Blair Young with a handoff off right tackle for a short game. Crosses the 30 yard line, gets to about the 32 for a three yard game. It'll bring up second down and seven from the 32. 7 35 and running in the third quarter. 2013 Pioneers over the Braves. Here in Greenville, Tennessee. Jones will line up in the shotgun with second down and seven on his own 32. Two receivers to his left. Blair Young, the, young, the lone setback. Sean Brown, the lone receiver to the far side. Driving from left to right is Josh Jones. Three-step drop. Here comes the blitz. Fires an incomplete pass. Triple coverage around Tyshawn Carter. And it'll bring him third down. Good job by the Pioneers defense to bring in the blitz off right tackle. And it'll bring a third down and seven from the 32. Just a little over seven minutes from the end of the third quarter with the Braves down 20 to 13. Josh Jones will line up in the shotgun. With Blair Young, the lone setback. Three step drop for Jones in the shotgun. Airs it out, finds Quay three at midfield. To the 45 for a first down and more. Quay three, the lone receiver who has more than three catches or more in this game for the Braves, picks up a big chunk, first down and more inside Tusculum territory. A 23 yard reception. For Quay three. First and ten for the Braves at the Pioneer 45 yard line. 624 remains in the third quarter. Josh Jones back to pass. Looks downfield, airing it out for a three. A one-handed catch is incomplete. Quay three had a step on the quarterback. <laughs> Rommel Fields, it'll bring a second down and 10 for the Braves on the Pioneer 44-yard line. Q3 
McCoy three in this game so far has done a tremendous job receiving. Nine catches for 85 yards, averaging 9.4 yards a catch. Second down and 10 for the Braves on the Pioneer 44. Jones in the shotgun with two receivers to his left, three in the slot on the near side. Hand off up the middle to Josh Sheridan, off left tackle. And it'll be a game of about nine and a half. It'll be third down and inches for the Braves. Third down and inches from the Pioneer, 35 yard line. Braves will line up in the huddle. If you're the Braves, you need to convert on this third down to keep this drive alive since you're down seven. Jones lines up under center. Hand, fake handoff. Rolls that to his right and finds Josh Sheridan right open in the flat for a first down and more. Inside the 15-yard line. As the Pioneers stacked the box, anticipating a QB sneak, Josh Jones rolls out to the right and finds Josh Sheridan for a first down and more. Goes from the 35 to the 11 on a 24 yard reception. First and 10 for the Braves and the Pioneer 11. They're in the red zone. The Braves are perfect in the red zone this season. Jones lines up into the shotgun with two receivers to his right. Sheridan remains the lone set. Hand off to Sheridan up the middle. He bounces off right tackle. Inside the five-yard line is Josh Sheridan for a short gain. That'll bring up second down for the Braves. UNCP down seven, wanting to convert on this drive. Answering the field goal by Tuscal. A officially a four-yard gain on the play. It'll be second down and six. Ball on the Pioneer seven-yard line with 420 remaining in the third quarter. Trips to the left of Jones, with Sheridan and the lone setback. Jones lines up in the shotgun. Hand off up the middle to Josh Sheridan, boxes off, right tackle, that's a touchdown! Seven yard touchdown run for Josh Sheridan! And the Braves are within one point of tying this game. Braves responding on this drive. A first touchdown for either team on the second day. Braswell lines up for the extra point. He is one for two today. Rayshon Griffin, the snapper. Isaac Braswell. Isaac Park, the holder. Ball spotted kick goes away by Braswell, and the kick is good. We are knotted at 20 in Tennessee. With four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Tie game at 20. We'll be back after this. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is... A healer, touching patients' lives at every turn. An ally, working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors. A blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart. A winner, recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards. And of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health Nurses are many things to many people. But to us, they're simply better by far. Welcome back. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Tuscaloosa Pioneers. Dave Nguyen on the call as the Braves of UNCP and the Tuscaloosa Pioneers are tied at 20 after the nine yard or seven yard touchdown run. After the seven yard touchdown run by Josh Sheridan. Braswell with a pooch kick on the ground. It's a squib. Returned at the 35 and tackled at the 35 yard line. It's Christian Bell. So, with three minutes and 59 seconds remaining in the third quarter, 
It is a new game tied in the 20 is more the quarterback. What's more the quarterback? Will line up in the under center with shipping in the line setback. Kicks two men in motion from right to left. Driving from left to right are the Pioneers. Under center is a handoff to the running back for a big game near midfield. Instead of Jordan Chippy, it is Maurice Gilmillion for a nine yard run on the play. It'll bring up second down and one for the Pioneers. Gilmillion remains the lone setback. And the I formation lining up under center is Bryce Moore, the quarterback. He has his fullback out there in Will Boney. Go Moon, handoff off left tackle. Gets the first down and more, spinning and bouncing around near the 43. It is a first down run on the play, and then we'll move the chains for the Pioneers. First and ten for the Pioneers on their on the Braves 43 yard line. Two fifty five remaining in the third quarter, tie game at twenty. And the shotgun is more. Hands off to go off left guard for a five yard gain from the forty three to the forty. And this is so it's a three yard gain on the play. And it'll bring up second or second down and seven for the Pioneers. 2.30 remaining in the third quarter with the tie game at 20. Pioneers of Tusculum driving from left to right. Second down and seven. Moore lines up in the shotgun. Go million, the lone setback, motion out to the flat. And that's an incomplete pass. As Bryce Moore was looking for A.J. Belanger down the field. Incomplete pass brings up third down and seven from the Braves 40 for the Pioneers. Substitutions made for the Pioneers. Bill Million remains the lone setback. Another big third down for both teams. If you're the Braves defense, you have stopped the Pioneers before. The Pioneers are two for nine on third down in this game. And they're looking at a timeout call, the first timeout of the second half call off by Tusquam. We'll take a short break as well, and when we'll come back, it'll be more second half action from Tennessee. You listen to the Braves football on the UNCP Sports Network. Mm-mm. Bojangles, Cajun filet biscuit. Could this get any more perfect? Pimento cheese. Dude, get it with pimento cheese. Trust me. Perfect just got perfecter. Introducing Bojangles Cajun Filet Biscuit with our new pimento cheese. Melty cheddar pimento cheese on our Cajun Spice Chicken. It's perfecter. Bojangles. It's bow time, bro. Back to Greenville, Tennessee, home of the Tusculum Pioneers. Dave Nguyen on the call. Game of 20 with two on nine remaining in the field. Pioneers driving from left to right. It's third down and seven from the Braves 40. Four in the shotgun with Go Million, the lone step back. Here comes the blitz from the Braves, and it works. A big tackle for a loss. A sack for the Braves defense. A.J. Parker with another big tackle for a loss. And it'll bring up fourth down and long for the Pioneers. D.J. Parker with a sack. And here's a pooch punt bouncing around the 10-yard line and getting out near the 7-yard line. It's a punt. By Andrew Cantrell. And that is where the Braves will set up their offense with 128 remaining in the third quarter. Tie game at 20. 
Ball officially spotted at their own seven yard line. For the, so the Braves will have to drive 93 yards. Jones lines up in the shotgun with two receivers to his right. Sharon in the lone step back. Pocket collapses. Jones forced to get flushed out of the pocket. Throws downfield. Finds Trey Dixon down the far sideline to the 37 yard line. Big reception for Trey Dixon. Gets the Braves out of their own end zone and closer to Pioneer territory. So from the 7 to the 36-yard line, a 29-yard reception for Trey Dixon. And it'll bring up first down to the 10th for the Braves with a lot of breathing room under a minute to go in the third quarter. Tie game at 20. Jones. A double reverse, and it is fumbled and recovered by the Pioneers. The Braves offense trying to be fancy on a double reverse call. Tyshawn Carter can't get the second pitch, and it is a turnover by the Braves. The third turnover of the game. So now the Pioneers set up in great field position, tied the game at 20. First and 10 for the Pioneers on the Braves' 27 yard line. If you're a Braves fan, you're really questioning the call. First and 10 for Braves Moore and the Pioneer offense. Hands off and bouncing around, breaking a couple tackles is Thurlow Wilkins. From the 27 to the 21 yard, 21 yard by a six yard run, brings up second down and four for the Pioneers. 30 seconds remain in the third quarter. So Trey Dixon had a 29 yard reception. And then the Braves try to go fancy on offense with a double reverse. And it's all just because Tyshawn Carter bobbles the second pitch. And now it's second down and four. Ten seconds more. Looking for the end zone, and his pass is incomplete. Pass intended for A.J. Belanger, and will bring up second, third down and four for the seven yard line. Seven seconds remain in the third quarter. Ball on the Braves' 21-yard line as the Pioneers drive from left to right. Lining up in the power line is Bryce Moore. Under center. Here's the handoff. Off to Camillion. Off left tackle. He is close to the first down marker. Gain of at least three. It'll bring up the numbers stay fourth down, and we might have a measurement. The third quarter has come to a close. We go to the fourth and final quarter of play. A tie game at 20 in Tennessee. Don't go anywhere. We'll come back after this. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. A nurse at Scotland Health is a healer touching patients' lives at every turn, an ally working as a trusted teammate with the best doctors, a blower of bubbles, part child whisperer, part kid at heart, a winner recognizing excellence through Daisy Awards, and of course, a caring friend. Scotland Health nurses are many things to many people, but to us, they're simply better by far.
Welcome back to the fourth and final quarter of play here in Greenville, Tennessee, between the Pioneers of Tusculum and the Braves of UNC Pembroke. Dave Nguyen on the call as the Braves or the Pioneers will be facing a fourth down and one from the Braves' 18-yard line, and the Pioneers are going to go for it. Lining up under center is Bryce Moore, the quarterback. Kicks a man in motion. Hand off up the middle. It's going to be close as the handoff was to the running back, Will Boney. We'll see where the ball is spotted. A crowd around the around the football, and it looks like it will be a pioneer first down. A big fourth down conversion for the Pioneers. They are now one for two. Moore lines up on the center once more with Gil Million, his lone setback. A receiver split out wide to his right and left. Gil Million gets the handoff off left tackle. And for a short game, we bring the ball from the 17 to the 11. So a six-yard run on the play by Gil Million. It'll bring up second down and four for the Pioneers. Ball on the Braves' 11-yard line. Possible within a striking distance of taking the lead. If you're the Braves' defense, you need a hold. The Pioneers to a field goal. 14 minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Tied in at 20. Moore. Three-step drop, flushed out of the pocket, decides to run, and slides, and penalty markers fly. It's going to be an automatic first down for the Pioneers. More slid past the seven-yard line, so now it'll be a first down and then probably a half the distance to the goal call. And a game that's tied at 20 here in the fourth quarter. A hit to the head as the quarterback Moore slid feet first and therefore is a def is ruled defenseless. And if you hit him in the head, it's an automatic penalty. So he's going to be first down and goal for the Pioneers. Just are waiting where the ball will be spotted. First down and goal for the Pioneers. From the three yard line. There seems to be a stop at the point. As Shane Richardson, the head coach of the Braves, out to discuss the targeting penalty that was officially called on the Braves.
So it's first and ten. It looks like the backup quarterback is in. And Joaquin Colazzo hands the ball to Go Million up the middle for no gain. Second down to go for the Pioneers. With 13.25 remaining in the fourth quarter. Thirteen twelve and running. Tie game at twenty. Four yards to go to get to the end zone if you're the pioneers. Colazzo remains the quarterback. Lining up under center. Go million the lone setback in the power eye. Handoff off left tackle and tackled for a short game. It'll be third down. As Gomillion is tackled at the two. Important down right here for both teams. If you're the Braves, you need to stop. Third and three from the three. As the Pioneers drive from right to left. Colazzo hands the ball to Go Million off right tackle. And he will be short of the end zone. Marked out at the one yard line is Go Million. And it appears that the field goal unit will be trotting on for the Pioneers. If so, it's a good defensive stop by the Braves. Forcing the field goal unit out on the field for the Pioneers. A tie game at 20 with 11.35 remaining in the fourth quarter. Out for the field goal is Eli Shepard. Ball spot, the kick is away, and the kick just threw the uprights and good. A 19 yard field goal made. By Eli Shepard, and the Pioneers take a 3 20 lead with 11 24 remaining in the third quarter. Let's step aside after this quick break. You're listening to Brace Football on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Welcome back to Greenville, Tennessee. Dave Nguyen on the call. As the Braves are down by three points. 23-20. to A 19-yard field goal made by the Pioneers and Eli Shepard. Allen and Juski. We'll line up to kick off. Back deep to receive for the Braves will be Trey Dixon. As well as Devin Jones. Here's the kick from Andrewski. Field at the 20-yard line by Devin Jones. And he's tackled near the 30-yard line. And that is where the Braves will set up their offense. Needing a touchdown to take the lead. They're down 23-20 to with 11-19 remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Angelo Blair Young will be the left setback 
with the Braves. Two receivers to the right and left of Josh Jones as he lines up in the shotgun. Trips now to the right of Josh Jones as the Braves are driving from left to right. Jones runs out of the pocket, flushed out, and will need to get the, rid of the ball. Fumble! And it appears... Jones fumbles the ball on the play, and he is able to recover it. He officially ruled a sack on the play, a loss officially six. So a six-yard sack by the Pioneer defense, and now there is an injury timeout on the play. So Josh Jones. Under some pressure, he rolled out to the right, noticed an unblocked linebacker heading towards him. So he rolled back towards the middle of the field and was sacked behind the line of scrimmage. Six-yard loss on the play, so it's second down and 16 for UNCP with 10.53 remaining in the fourth quarter. 23-20 the score in favor of the home team. Jones will line up in the shotgun with Blair Young, the left setback off his right head. Trips to the right. Quay three in the slot. Pioneers show blitz. Hand off to Blair Young up the middle, and he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on the play. It'll bring up third down and long for the Braves. Down three with 10.25 remaining in the fourth quarter. will be spotted at the Braves 15 yard line. Josh Sheridan back into the game. Third and 20 for the Braves. Jones and the shotgun back to pass. Clean pocket finds McDonald for a first down across the 40. A 22 yard reception for Marcus McDonald and it moves the chains for the Braves. Third and 20, the 22-yard reception is the Braves out of their end zone and to the 42. A big play for the Braves on this drive. Sheridan now gets the handoff off right tackle to midfield. From the 42 to the 50, an eight-yard run by Josh Sheridan. It'll bring up second down and two for the Braves. Now spotted at the 49 yard line, so it's a nine yard run by Josh Sheridan as Jones lines up in the shotgun once more. Sheridan remains in the lone step back. Sean Brown goes in motion from right to left. Sheridan gets the handoff up the middle, and he will be past the line of gain and be good enough for a Braves first down. Needed one, got three. And with 8.54 remaining in the fourth quarter, the Braves, driving from left to right, down three, with 8.45 remaining in the fourth quarter. Ball now officially spotted at the 47-yard line of the Pioneers. And the shotgun is Josh Jones. Two receivers to his right, three in motion from right to left. Fake handoff play action. Rolling out to the right is Jones. And he finds his man. And now it is, it is ruled an incomplete pass to Marcus McDonald on the near sideline near the 30. McDonald had the ball in his hands. And as he rolled out of bounds, the ball dropped out of bounds. So an incomplete pass will make second down and 10 for the Braves on the Pioneer 47 yard line. 8.28 remaining in the fourth quarter. 23 20 the score in favor of the home team. Josh Jones lining up in the shotgun, calling out a play from the line of scrimmage. Sam Vines, the fullback, checks in the game as well as Josh Sheridan. Two receivers to the right of Jones. Hand off to Sheridan, off left tackle, makes a couple men miss, goes forward, 
to the 45-yard line. It would be a short gain to bring up third down for the Braves. So from the 47 to the 45, it's a gain of two. So third down and eight for the Braves on the Pioneer 45-yard line. Eight minutes remain in the fourth quarter. 23-20 the score in favor of the Pioneers. Jones in the shotgun. Two receivers to his right and left. Pioneers show pressure. Here comes the blitz. Pocket collapses. Jones rolls out. Flushed out. We'll have to throw this one downfield. And it is intercepted. And now incomplete. It was in the arms of the defender of Tusculum, number 36, Malik Goodman. And the pass is incomplete. It will be fourth down and eight for the Braves. And it looks like Parks and the Braves running unit will try it out over the field. Back to receive the punt for Tuscala is D. Alford. Here's a high punt bouncing near the 10 yard line, and it will be marked as a touchback. It was bouncing around the one yard line. There were Braves. Players there to try to keep the ball inbounds, but unfortunately the ball rolled out. It'll be first down and 10 for Tuscola from their own 20 yard line with a three point lead with 728 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Richard freshman quarterback who had three interceptions and three touchdowns last week with a very important drive in this game. If you're the great defense, you want to force a three and out quickly. If you're the pioneers, you want to chew a clock. One streak will end in this game. The Braves are riding a 12-game road, 12 road game losing streak. Then all the way back to 2017. The Pioneers have yet to win a home game in 2019. They are over three. The Braves have held Tusculum in check on third down. So far, the Pioneers are 2 for 12 on third down, while the Braves are 6 for 12 on third down. The Pioneers have the edge in total yardage, 274 to 264. And a lot of it has been on the ground, 255 yards on the ground for the Pioneer offense. And of those 255 rushing yards, Jordan Shippey has 123 yards on 11 attempts, averaging a little over 11 yards a carry in this game. Bryce Moore has not thrown the ball well, 4 for 14 for 40 yards. Thurlow Wilkins, 8 carries for 79 yards and a touchdown. Gomillion, eight touches for 31 yards. And Bryce Moore, eight rushes for 21. Moore lines up in the shotgun, has the ball off to his running back around the right side to the 35 to the 40. And, and now out of bounds at the 40 yard line is Thurlow Wilkins. First down and more for the Pioneers with 7.15 remaining in the fourth quarter. Pioneers hold a three point lead. From the 20 to the 42, a gain of 22 for Thurlow Wilkins. The 59 yard touchdown back in the first quarter. On seven minutes to play, driving from right to left are the Pioneers. Moore in the shotgun with two receivers to his left. Hands the ball to Wilkins up the middle, makes a couple men miss, and for a short gain, crosses the 45 yard line. That'll bring up second down. Forty-two to the forty-six, a four-yard run by Wilkins. It'll bring up second down and six. 
625 running in the fourth quarter. Braves defense needs to come up with a stop. Pioneers holding a three point lead. Have Moore lining up under center. Kicks a man in motion from right to left. Moore has the ball to Wilkins off right tackle for a short game. And it'll bring up third down. A big third down in this game for both teams. Pioneers need to convert on this third down to keep the drive alive. Braves need to come up with another big third down stop. The Pioneers are 2 for 12 on third down in this game. A one yard run on the carry. It'll bring up third and five for the Pioneers with 5.35 remaining in the fourth quarter. Pioneers hold a 23 to 20 lead over the Braves. Moore lines up in the shotgun. With Wilkins, the lone setback. Moore back to pass. Pocket collapses. He's flushed out running out to the right. And he's tackled out of bounds. He is short of the first down. A big stop by the Braves defense. A three-yard run on the quarterback keeper by Bryce Moore. Sean Hill on the stop. The freshman safety and the punting unit for Mars Hill will trot out to the field. That team to receive the punt will be Devin Jones. Andrew Cantrell, that punt for the Pioneers. Devin Jones. A dangerous return man has had two kick return touchdowns this year. One of 100 yards and another one of 87. And the throw's punt is booted. High end over end. Devin Jones will make a fair catch. Caught. And he'll be officially marked at the 8-yard line. So the Braves will have to march 92 yards down the field with 4 minutes and 45 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. Down 3 Looking for a touchdown to take the lead in this game. Big time players make big time plays. Josh Jones and the UNCP offense have that capability to do so. Jones will line up in the shotgun in the pistol gun formation with trips or two receivers to his right and one to his left. Three in the slot. Hand off to Sheridan up the middle for a short game from the eight yard line. Gets across the 10 to the 14. A five yard pickup on the play. It'll be second down and five for the Braves at their own 13 as the ball is officially marked. Two receivers to the right as Jones at the shotgun. Quick drop, finds Quay three at the 25 yard line, spinning around to the 30. A first down and more for the Braves. From the 13 to the 30, a 17-yard reception. With four minutes to go as the Braves continue to drive from left to right. Down three with four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Trips now to the right of Josh Jones remaining in the shotgun. Drops back, quick pass out to Fahim Diab. His first catch of the day. Towards midfield, another first down for the Braves. 345 and running here in the fourth quarter, and a timeout is called. Fahim Diab with a big reception to the 47 yard line. Twenty-three to twenty the score in favor of the Pioneers. 348 left, and the Braves of UNCP are driving. The four-minute offense out on the field. And so far, looking very well. Big run by Josh Sheridan. Quake 3 has come up flux throughout the day. Entering this down after the 17 yard reception from Fahim Diab. Quake 3, 10 receptions, 102 yards, averaging 10.2 yards in the catch. The lone receiver for UNCP with more than three catches. 
UNTP has all three. Jones, after the timeout, will line up in the shotgun. 3.48 remaining in the fourth quarter, 23-20. Pioneers. Braves driving from left to right on their own 47. Two receivers to the left and right of Josh Jones. Calls an audible at the line of scrimmage. Sheridan, the lone setback. Jones, three-step drop. Flushed out of the pocket. Now forced to throw. Quay three at midfield. And stretching towards the 45-yard line is Quay three with his 11th reception of the game. Officially marked at the 46-yard line. To the 46 yard line of the Pioneers. A seven yard reception. Brings up second down and three. Sheridan, handoff up the middle. And maybe a gain of one. Third down and three for the Braves. And to the short gain by Sheridan. From the 45-yard line of the Pioneers, Jones lines up in the shotgun. Splits four receivers out wide to the, le to the left and right. Jones back to pass. Three-step drop. Short pass out to Sheridan. And the flat spins and gets the first down for the Braves. He needed three, he gets four. And the Braves continue to drive. 2.25 remaining in the fourth quarter. Braves down three. 23 points to the score. 2.15 remaining in the fourth quarter. Braves driving from left to right. Jones with two receivers to his right. Sheridan the lone setback. Three step drop. Pocket collapses. Caught pass by Josh Sheridan. A short reception on the play. Officially marked at the 39-yard line. Second down and seven for the Braves as the clock continues to tick. 140 and 140 remains in the fourth quarter. Second down and seven for the Braves at the 39-yard line of the Pioneers. Jones rolls out to his right, now goes back out to his left. Finds a man downfield across his body. Is it a catch? And the referees on the far sideline rule the pass incomplete. Pass intended for Trey Dixon on the far sideline. Third down and seven. On the Pioneer 39-yard line, Grace driving from left. Right. Down three. Braves in this game are seven for 13 on third down. Blair Young split out wide. Jones back to pass. Fires downfield. Caught for the Diab at the 25 yard line. First down and more as the Braves are now eight for 14 on third down. Big catch by Fahim Diab. And the Braves call time now. 125 remaining in the fourth quarter. This drive started at the Braves' own eight-yard line. Marching down the field methodically, the clock started this drive at 430. It's 125 remaining in the game. The Pioneers of Tusculum hold points 23 to 20, with 1.25 remaining in the fourth quarter. Braves will set the first and 10 from the Tusculum 26 yard line. First timeout called in the second half by Shane Richardson and the UNCP Braves. 
looking to end the road game losing streak. Jones will trot the rest of the offense back out onto the field. Sheridan Malone set back in the shotgun with trips to the right. Marcus McDonald, the nearest receiver, on the near sideline. Tyshawn Carter on the far sideline. Sean Brown, the near receiver as well. Jones, back to pass. Avoids a sack. Flushed out, and now will be forced to find Josh Sheridan for maybe a one-yard reception. And the clock will stop as Sheridan goes out of bounds. So it looked like Josh Jones initially was going to be sacked for a nine loss. He gets rid of the ball, finds Josh Sheridan on the far sideline for no gain officially. And it's second down and 10 from the 26 with 117 remaining in the fourth quarter. Jones in the shotgun, Sheridan the lone running back. Two receivers to his right and left. Jones calls an audible at the line. Pioneers show blitz. Here they come. Jones finds a man across the 20-yard line. Near the 17, good enough for a brace first down. Quay Threet, who else? With his 12th reception of the game. 57 seconds of running in the four. Brace down three. 50 seconds. Jones in the shotgun. Two receivers to his left and right. Sheridan in the left setback. He gets the ball up the middle. Try to bounce off right tackle for a short gain. It was third and one. And now it will be ruled fourth down. From my point of view, I thought Quay three got the first down. Instead, he was marked short of the line of gain. It is now fourth down and one. Fourth down and one, 30 seconds remain. And now a big decision for Shane Richardson and the Braves offense. You can do one of two things. You can get the field goal here, a 34-yard field goal with 30 seconds left to tie the game to 23. Or you go for the fourth down. So far, the Braves have not attempted a fourth down conversion today. This season, the Braves are 5 for 9 on fourth down. A percentage rate of 55%. Big decision here could be the game. Tuscal looking for their first home win of the season. Braves looking to end their 12 game road losing streak. Each team has one timeout remaining. And it appears that the UNCP offense, the Braves offense, will remain on the field. Thirty seconds remain in the fourth quarter. Pioneers hold a three point lead. Fourth and one from the seventeen of the Pioneers. Shane Richardson out on the field is showing his offense. And he trucks back to the sideline. Sheridan, the lone step back. And now Tuscaloosa calls timeout. We'll take a short break as well. You're listening to Braves Football on the UNCP Sports Network. When a hospital invests in technology, skilled hands and keen eyes have new tools for diagnosing disease and making people better. At Scotland, we were the first in the region to provide 3D mammograms and robotic joint surgery, and the only hospital in the region to collaborate with Duke Health to offer both radiation and medical oncology for cancer patients. At Scotland, we invest in the newest technology for one simple reason, to deliver you closer care that's better by far. Back to Braves football. Fourth quarter. Braves down three. Fourth down and one with 30 seconds remaining. Braves need one yard to continue the drive. They have one timeout remaining. 
Tusculum has just pulled their final time out. Before Tusculum called their time out, the Braves lined up under center. A game that has gone back and forth. We have seen a special teams touchdown, an offensive touchdown, and a defensive touchdown in this game. Braves had a punt block return for a touchdown, as well as a touchdown kept by Tyshawn Carter and Josh Sheridan. Josh Jones has also thrown an interception for a touchdown for the Pioneers. Fourth down and one with 30 seconds left. Josh Jones and the Braves offense line in line up in the shotgun. Play clock at seven. Jones under center. And Ubi directs it up to Josh Sheridan off the right side. And he's tackled behind the line of scrimmage. <laughs> A one-yard loss, and that is how the game will end. Josh Gordon ran the line, finished the ball the signal. It was a direct, or a jump, jump drive. Went to the high scrimmage, pulling out a play for his offensive lineman. It was a direct snap to Josh Sheridan, and he ran off right tackle and was tackled behind the line of scrimmage. And the Pioneers of Tuscaloosa were earned their first home win of the season. Bryce Moore will take a knee. And the Braves, with a hard fought effort, will fall. 23 to 20, the final from. Greenville, Tennessee. Thank you everyone for coming in to listen. The Braves will travel down to South Carolina to take on Newberry next week. This has been the conclusion of Braves football on the UNCP Sports Network.